to go on to finish this year Please with a gold welcome medal. the referees. As you rightly say, in for a treat, and they'll be hard to beat. Looking for that goal. Simone Alessio against So Gong Wu. And will it be so good, or will it be so good for Alessio? I love the rhyming. That wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> no, it before that, it before that was a good one. So. It was the chocolate that you gave me. <laughs> it's giving me some fake energy from somewhere. <laughs> but this is chocolate without sugar. So. <laughs> oh, I'll eat all of it then. As you said, fake energy. That's it. <laughs> But no fake quality in terms of the refereeing. Leith Osman had a really strong tournament, IVR and the centre, and he will be in charge of the welterweights. In and we don't have to wait now because here they come. Italy, Simone Alessio. Simone Alessio pounding the chest. Claudio Nolano ready for business as well. Strong season. Oh, strong season for all the fighters. They had one competition in Rome, so I think that was the most intense one in front of the home crowd, but they are ready from the European Championship this year, all the Grand Prix, World Championship, quality team, great and coaches. And red so from Korea. This is the John opportunity Wu for him. Seo. I know he's not happy with silver medals. So. <laughs> but trying to give him that <laughs> will be so gone Wu. <laughs> Looking fresh. All smiles, so <laughs> this two, two totally opposite styles and faces and attitudes. And it's interesting to see there's probably, I mean, look at that for a score. <laughs> Sorry, 28 to 23, 23 uh, 22 to 6 and 48 Referee, 42. I mean, basketball scores, I'm not wow. too sure yes. exactly. Yes, Don't look really. at me, Melissa. I cannot <laughs> add that up. But adding up to a good final, there's the tail of the tape on the big screen for you. So young Korean fighter, 20 years of age. What you, you see the height from Simone Alessio, 197. And I remember a couple of years ago, I think it was 2017 or 18 when he did like 68 That's kilos. That's right, minus 68s. Wow. Yep, standing tall, <laughs> 1 meter 84, the corresponding height for the Korean. But of course, you look at the body types, a little flick to the body there. So Gong Wu with the Korean power calves ready but to I, power yeah, the shots. I, I'm not uh, with this decision. He, this was not a monkey kick. This was, you know, short distance kick, and he got Kamchun for that in the first five seconds. So. Yeah, good call. The first Kamchun, that's the penalty. Good punch, oh, though. Excellent punch. Strong one, good momentum, 2-0 for the start. And as a taller fighter punching down, that's a good sign that you've got your distance ready. So also Leith Othman has been busy. We'll have a look for Cam Jones because the long legs, important there's the jump up on the inside. Yeah, I thought that Simone is doing good in short distance with the body movement, but one more kick for 4-2. As you said, that short distance, obviously the technique, the Koreans, as we've seen before, tell them to get his head forward bury himself into the chest of Alessio and work away on the inside. Good counter though. Oh, that was a great one. Strong one, accurate for 4-4. Four four. Cam John for grabbing. Grabbing a punch though, 5 all. For me, the dust is not strong enough, but you can see he'll continue to work only 55 seconds went by but he's doing all the work this is the third one in one minute so he has <laughs> room for two more as you say five gam jones will see you lose the round tries to fire forward with a punch simone alessio well three of those points are for gam jones good back kick attempt there from alessio showing his creativity and good blocking with the legs as well last 45 This was a nice one, a fake and then inverted kick to, to the body, so 7-6 for Korean fighter, and he's still trying. Still trying indeed, the step out double. Last 35 seconds, you can see for yourself the scores on the board. So Gong Wu, so concentrated. Back leg, turn the kick, battles in, good counter from Alessio. Yo, great counter, front kick to the body. <laughs> still. So we'll need <laughs> to work through this whole round, 20 seconds more. Well, no doubting you mentioned the age and the fitness, the 20-year-old against the 22-year-old. There's the headshot, though. Spin coming through from the Korean. 
I expect we come soon for going back. Is there time to go forward though? So Gong Wu steps through with the back kick. No lights going good. Defence from Alessio. Switched on. He'll step out. That will be 11 8 now. Three seconds. Three points needed. Leith Osman keeping So Gong Wu back, making sure. Good shot on the inside. Gong Wu just missing there and a great round for the Italian. Great time. He looked really confident through the whole round. We had like some, he was winning, losing, going back and forward, but 11 to 8, great round for him, really confident from the first second until the last one. Sure with his push kick, he tried turning kick, punches, we saw everything from Simone today. And not only that, you've said that before and he said it himself that his coach and him worked on the line between being arrogant and confident and there he certainly emotionally controlled, just yeah. leaning and, and just yeah. making So Gong Wu chase him. Yeah, I like it because I think he was not happy yesterday after yeah. the semi-final, he won the final also, so you can see it in his eyes just He's going inside, okay, I'll do the first round, then the second, and when the second one is finished, then I can celebrate. Yeah, as you can see, that emotional maturity. So crucial, so Gong Wu, though, will be not hard to find. The Korean, of course, in red. Oh, just leeching forward okay. there, big punch on the inside. Strong one. And it is Alessio with that shot stance, good punch again. This was a stronger one, even. As we know, the I think you need time to recover after this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true, actually. That's a good point I was going to ask you. Sometimes I've seen it with Aaron. It's points and punches, and this will be the game, John, as well. But sometimes they don't score, but you do feel them. Oh, you, you feel them. That's why I said he's, you know, you can see his movement, his distance. The punch was strong. 3-0 for the start, and you need a couple seconds after that just to recover, to collect your thoughts again, and go with the game plan. As you see, collect the thoughts. The database is running in the heads as he runs in there. Back like turning it from So Gong Wu. A couple of lights went on. A little flick of the eyes up there to the Italians to say, "Okay, let's go." Alessio halfway through. Uh, that's the fourth punch in a row. <laughs> this was something new. <laughs> I don't know how you would call it. <laughs> a pretend back kick. <laughs> Turning kick? <laughs> I have to write that down. No idea. The Korean coach liked it though. They've obviously worked on that one. Adaptations required. A minute and four. Four on the board. Another big punch. Alessio though will know he's got that front leg counter, he only needs one. We need more now from Alessio, he was perfect in the first round, now in the second one Korean fighter is doing all the work from the first minute until now, so 4-0 for him. But as yesterday, one more kick for, for Korean fighter, 6-0. We saw yesterday Simone losing but being confident and on the end he won that round so we can expect a lot. We certainly can. Advisable for the Italian, as you mentioned, to just save up the energy. So Gong Wu has a look for himself. You can see for yourself the coaches in the corner. Cam, the step through, reverse turning kick, thrown in a slow pace from the Korean. The chop kick, there it was, that was the last one. Good head movement from the Korean, does well to avoid. And unless you avoids playing the card, that was the calf that hit to the head, not anything below the ankle. But that was three in a row. I think he needs to use more of the chop kicks. They are so flexible, they are fast. He's using them all the time. I think this is a right choice for, for the second round if you want to, to make it a tie. Well, we've spoken a little bit about fitness and conditioning. We've spoken about stamina. So Gong Wu has been in his face the entire fight. There was that chop, but couldn't quite land it. Yeah, but I love the inverted kick from the inside. He made some space. He kicked it, scored 10-0 in the second round. Totally the opposite, like we talked before. Two totally different rounds. So I think the biggest advantage with Se Gong Wu is like his... Oof, 
Tell him that I need was, a break from the problems. <laughs> that gotta hurt, but his biggest advantage is his fitness level, doing all the work all the time, trying everything, but just with that fitness level you can be in that zone. You can you can do anything when you're that prepared. And speaking of prepared, obviously there's fitness zones in both corners, but those punches that we mentioned, you could see Alessio a couple of times, hands yes. on his knees, trying to get the air back in yes. the lungs. I think that was the, the, the best thing in this round for, for Seagong Wu, because after two, three punches, I think Simone was down a little bit. He needed more time just to recover after that. Now in the third round, I would keep the distance. I would use my long legs just to keep him far away from me, not be able to punch, at least doing the, the, the body movement with the shoulder, so if he scores, just not to be strong enough. We know the legs are long enough, the strength is strong enough as we go into the closing stages of this one. One all the scores on the board. Step out double. That's not even a short distance. I don't <laughs> no, know what distance no. that is. No. Super so short. Yes. But like this, using his chop kick, using his pushes. He scores, but the most important, I think, better from that, not not being able for a Korea fighter to, to do the punches. Yeah, obviously Claudio Nolano with the same coaching advice, trying to maintain that the same way they did in the first round. But a big punch, as you said. Yes. Commentator's curse finds the answer. When you're tired, it's hard to... Oh, this was nice. This was not pulling, <laughs> grabbing <laughs> like the Korean fight show, but 5-1. to one. Turning kick after that. Good start for Simona. Well, that window wiper kick, very <laughs> useful on a rainy day in Saudi. A step up reverse there from the Korean, not far away. Little left leg on the inside, no registrations. Leith Othman gets things underway, just over a minute. A good one, front, front kick to the body. Now the tech is better. He's using his techniques, not giving him opportunity to punch, to, to shoot from the inside. He tried a couple times, he didn't score, so he lost a lot of power in this in this minute. This didn't score, this, this was a strong one. Strong punch. Strong stuff though from Simone. Last 50 seconds, back leg turn and kick from the big man in blue. Gets into the clinch and it's So Gong Wu, finding it hard. Both of them a little bit tired. <laughs> That's normal after the two hard days and the old season, but they all play the card. I think Simona needs some rest. <laughs> Good tactical decision. I was yeah, just yeah. watching you and watching them. Let's see what Claudio says. I think, as you said rightly, it'll be for that invalidation of Gamjon, but down on his knees, on his haunches, Simona Alessio, Senya Levi will be. Letting us know. But this is a valid decision because you can see if your fighter is tired, just give him opportunity to breathe. 30 seconds more, why not? This is the final match. We have less than a minute, so 43 seconds more. So he needs time to recover to maintain his lead. So a good one. Well, will it be successful? They couldn't really care less. The card gone. <laughs> yes. But will it be a gold in the pocket on the way back to Livorno? We will know very soon, stepping into the clinch, the Italian. But we know Song Gong Wu has all the ability in the world. Will he be the World Grand Prix final winner? Excellent from Alessio. Well, excellent. He wanted the card one more time, I think, but they used it 15 seconds ago. Last 30 seconds. The Korean coach imploring him to go to the head, he does so. Yeah, he tried a couple times to kick the head, but it was not a good height of the kick, but this one, look at him from 7-2 to 7-7 in 10 seconds. And just the registrations in favour of Alessio at the moment as we go towards the business end of it now. Maybe country for that, yes. Gam Jong given the chop kick blocked. So Gong Wu trying to force forward. Simone Alessio, can he grab another gold to finish off 
a fantastic season. Will it be a clean sweep? So Gong Wu fighting forward. There's the chop kick over the shoulder. Which way will the referee go with the Gamjon? Given for grabbing. Perfect. Absolutely. So his point is given. We're looking for the green light. It's still in favour of Alessio. Tied up at the last seconds, but it's Simone Alessio in terms of the registrations registering another gold medal here at the Grand Prix final. The champion yet again, Simone Alessio embracing his coach yes. here. Amazing team. I love both of them. You can see Simone was he was best in the last 10 seconds with the movement. He didn't look tired. <laughs> he looked more tired during the third round, but he used his long legs in the last 10 seconds to maintain his lead. It was 8-8. He had a green dot in his favor. Well-deserved victory for him today.